Today, we will make this crafting table in Blender. Please like before start. Let's start with the default cube. Press Ctrl plus R2 at edge loops on the sides. Then select the added edge loop set bevel them. Press Alt plus A and extrude faces along normals. Select this top faces and move them down. Do the same thing with the bottom faces. Add a plane and place it above the cube. Enter in top view and rotate it 45 degrees. Scale it up and subdivide it 5 times. In object mode select the cube. Go to physics menu and add collision. And to the plane add cloth modifier. Start the animation. If you need to scale the cube go to frame 1 and do it. Now is OK. Go to Modifiers menu and apply the Cloth modifier. Press Ctrl plus to, to add a subdivision modifier to the plane. Then, add a Solidify modifier. Increase the thickness. Add a bevel modifier on the plane and increase the values. Press right click and shade smooth. Add a plane and place it on top. Then scale it down and place it under the cloth. Go to edit mode and extrude the face. Then add two edge loops on each side. Select those nine faces and press A two times to insert them individually. Then extrude them down. Replace the object to make visible only the frame. Press Shift plus right click here to set the cursor. Then add a plane and rotate it 90 degrees on X axis. Scale it down and place it like this. In vertex mode select those two vertexes. And press Ctrl plus B plus V to bevel them. Then select this face and press A to insert it. And delete the new face. Press A to select all faces and extrude them. Add a bevel modifier and increase the segments. And shade smooth. Add another plane and rotate it 90 degrees. Scale it down and then scale it on the axis. Add six edge loops on it. Select the seven vertexes and go to Select menu and Checker Deselect. Then move them on X axes. Select those two vertexes and press them to merge them at center.
select all faces and extrude them. Add a parent between those two objects. Press Shift plus right click here and add a cylinder. Set the vertexes to 8 and scale it down. Add a new cube and scale it down. Select the cylinder press Ctrl plus A and apply scale. Select the top and the bottom faces and press Ctrl plus B to bevel them. Then add a bevel modifier on the cube. Shade smooth both objects and add a parent between them. Press Ctrl plus S and set cursor to world origin. Then press this icon and select 3D cursor. Select the tools and enter the top view pressing 7 numpad. Duplicate the tools and press right click to release them in place. And press R plus 90 to rotate them 90 degrees. Repeat this two more times. Select the big cube and add three edge loops. Press backslash to isolate it. And select only those edges on the corners. Press Ctrl plus B to bevel them. And extrude the faces along normals. Add a torus in the corner of the cloth. Rotate it 90 degrees and scale it down. Then adjust the location and rotation like this. Set Curacer to World Origin and the Pivot to 3D Cursor again. Then select the Taurus and duplicate it. And rotate it 90 degrees. Repeat this two more times. Add a plane for background and scale it up. Add a bevel modifier to the big cube. Adjust the shape by moving those faces inside the cube. And this is all for this tutorial. Go to part 2 to see how to add realistic materials to the crafting table. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.